us again. Welcome back to Send Him Off. And uh, once again, we're joined by uh, Chris, myself, and my ever-present podcasting partner, Alex. How are you doing? All right, yeah. We yeah. Quick, quick 10 minute chat, I believe. Uh, yeah, just about uh, our new. Oh, Mr. Russell boy, Martin. Our new boss, Russell Martin. Obviously, Chris is a, an avid Norwich City fan. Russell Martin is somewhat of a, am I right in saying, a Norwich City legend? For sure, one hundred percent. Ross Martin, um, aka the Norfolk Cafu, the Norfolk uh, Cafu. He is honest. Seriously, his, his song is the Norfolk Cafu. Proper Norwich City legend. One lifted the trophy for us at Wembley. Uh, played in some epic, epic games in his time. A captain, a leader, and we and Norwich fans knew from the end of his time at Norwich that he was going to be a really successful coach slash manager one day. And we're, we're witnessing it now. Um, I'm sure you Swansea boys will be, well, hopefully you're excited. If you've seen the MK Don's stats from last yeah. season, this guy's not a, uh, he's not a Brexit football manager. He, he really does want to play football the right way. And um, he's definitely got a philosophy about him um, his own philosophy as well. And he's got such a, such a good football brain. Um, I am completely biased, of course, because I, I'm, I'm I'm privileged to call him a friend, name drop. But <laughs> he, uh, honestly, lads, he came on our podcast, the Talking Rust City podcast in the early days because he wanted to connect with the fans. And I really wanted to make that clear to you guys that he really, really genuinely cares about the fans, first and foremost. There we are, Russell. If you're listening, come on. Yeah, jump <laughs> on. We'll have a little. We'll have a little shot, Ben. Yeah, and I think that's really. No, I think that's really important. You know, he cares about the fans massively. He cares about um, the the local community massively as well, which I think is important because football uh, is is more than just kicking a, a a bag of air around, right? It can it can really empower people and empower communities. And anyway, the point is, Russ Martin. He is a very, very good up and coming coach and you guys have got him and you should be really, really excited about that. Albeit it looks to me like it could be a transition season for you. I really do think that rush joining has taken off the glass ceiling for you and the only way is up for Swansea. Yeah, I completely I agree. So. I mean, the names we were linked with, um, I mean, we had obviously uh, John Eustace at one point who I think Eustace. everybody down here with all due respect was a little bit like, who? Uh, I was, I was, I think really we all, really before we did our sort of, you know, looking around, we weren't really too sure. Um, I think it was. Then obviously we had the John Terry rumors, which. Oh, gosh. Scared, scared <laughs> yeah. living day oh, yeah. Quite frankly. Um, and, you know, I think out of any of the candidates, for me, it was always between Russell Martin and Jody Morris. I just think Jody Morris is in the same sort of mold as Steve Cooper was, sort of youth coach, you know, coming into a season. And he had his links as something. well. Yeah. But I'm I'm ge- I'm genuinely chuffed we got Russell Martin because Me too. F- for years, well, years plus five, more than five years, we've been yeah. screaming out for just a bit of football, just to watch the football we were used to ten we years saw ago. It slightly under Potter, ever so slightly, ever so slightly, brief, briefly. Um, but I'm so so excited. I was excited when he signed, and then his interviews have come out, and I'm so 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 excited to watch football this season again. Um, I hated watching the Swans last year. Hated it. Um, I think I enjoyed about four games out of the 46 or 48 or whatever we played. Um, yeah, it was horrific at times. But he seems so concerned with playing this good football, making it enjoyable. And it's like what we said on the Norwich uh, season preview, which go and listen if you haven't listened. Uh, cheeky plug. Uh, but you, uh, you said, Chris, what's the point? We all want to enjoy football. I, and that's exactly what I was... When, when we were speaking about it, the only thing I could think of, I was, well, it was kind of like we were echoing how I would feel about the swans this year. I just please just I don't care five nil, six nil, we lose. I don't care. Just as long as we can knock the ball around, enjoy going down the liberty, enjoy watching, you know, going on a away day. I don't care. I just want to enjoy watching them. That's all. The thing, is, the thing is with you boys, right? And I've I've said this about Swansea for at least three or four seasons now. You've you've had the talent to play good football. I'm I will I will disagree with you all day long if you if you say you've not. You've got some top top players at Swansea and Russ will get those boys moving. I just would only say, yes, Russ will implement a more attacking, proactive style of football, similar to what you're, what, what we are witnessing at Norwich City now under Daniel Farker. But my expectation would be 
he's going to need a season to, to a bed doubt. himself. Yeah. And, us, and, and actually, if you, if you don't give him the resource as well, you are sending him to war without a gun. So yeah. send Russ to war with a gun and he can do some damage. He knows the, he knows the league inside out. He knows the league inside out. He knows what it takes to win football matches in the championship. And he's able to turn as well. Like we're talking very much about this, this, this pretty, lovely, entertaining football. But Russ knows how to win ugly as well. He knows because he's been a defender. Um, and, and, and I'm not just talking for Norwich City, a legend. I'm talking about for Scotland as a centre-back, out wide right. You know, he, he knows how to win football matches. And I, I, I really would be excited if I was a Swansea fan. I just can't, I, I cannot begin to rate him enough. He is just the most lovely, kind, caring, empathetic guy. And, and football needs more people like Russ Martin. And by the way, his Norwich City links could do you guys some favours in terms of potentially some loan signings this season. Um, you know, for example, we might send out Adam Eder on loan. He could be a really handy striker for you. In I the would love that. Yeah. Um, so that's, again, something to think about. You know, Russ will be able to lure players in because he's only just been a player. He can talk in a language that resonates with a player yeah. to win their services for at least a season, which could mean the difference between Nor between Norwich City, between Swansea City going up and Swansea City staying in the championship. I think you boys could sneak into the playoffs this season. I say this respectfully because I do think it'll be a transition season, but I think you've got what it takes with Russ at the helm to muscle in on those playoff spots. Yeah, I mean... The only I thing... Actually... No, go on. Go on no, go on. no, I was going to say, the, the only thing that concerned me with what you said there was that you need to send him with a gun. And if it was up to what, well, it is up to all of us. I think they could. give him a water pistol. Right uh, they, they'd send him to war with no shoes. Never mind no gun. <laughs> He wouldn't, he wouldn't sign. That's my only concern is if yeah. he doesn't get the back and then, you know, and I worry about the fans because a, a lot of our fan base is very quick to jump on the back of the manager and say, oh, so-and-so out, Cooper out, Potter out. It'll be, you know, I do not story. think, I think uh, personally, I think it'll be different if the football is good. If the football's good, then they, yeah, but then the because attention think, gets taken away from the, I don't want to get into this yeah, now because I'm I like to think I'm one of the, I, I'd like to think I'm one of the less fickle uh, football fans out there like I like giving time um, I was I was disappointed even last January when Lampard got sacked from Chelsea from a neutral point of view I thought you know he hasn't been given that long uh, he's a young manager and I think I think Russell Martin will be given time um, I think he should be given time and I think the fans will appreciate that if the Swansea way if you like comes back um, through him and through his philosophy I think I think he'll get time I really yeah. do I hope so I hope so because I think Look, we, we've spoken about this in the Norwich City preview. Massively paid off sticking with Daniel Farker, even when he lost 10 games in the Premier League, right? We stuck by him and he managed to get us out of the league with ease, let's be honest. And I'm not saying Russ can do that immediately, but I, I do believe, look, no doubt about it, Russ will sturdy the ship. He will be able to, to be creative with what he's got. And also, you know... I, I, I do think we, we, we've seen this at MK Dons, right? He had to be creative in the market. He brought in players like Cameron Jerome. He managed to get him back from Turkey an out and out goal scorer in the championship. Also in the Premier League managed to get him to MK Dons. Yes. All right. I know he's getting on, but he knows how to do it. So look, lads, I, I, I would be really positive about it, but I think you, you raise a really good point. What does concern me, I'm not saying this is Swansea fans, this is football fans in general. There is always a risk that's worth acknowledging that if it doesn't start well, you're going to get start to get fans in the back. But seriously, if there's Swansea fans listening to this right now that, that will get on Russ's back after a few games, you seriously need to have a serious think about why you follow football because you've not been to the stadia in so long. You've not seen any football. You've still got the squad. You've not been able to invest because of the fact that we've had this little thing called a global pandemic. So calm down, let Russ do his job, let him implement his style of play. And I tell you what, he will succeed at Swansea. I wholeheartedly... you coming for Kevin Johns's job now, I tell you, Chris. Yeah, you'd lovely. you be a stadium lifting, announcer. Lifting a spirit. <laughs> Love it. Um, no, I completely, <laughs> I, <laughs> I completely agree with you. Um, I, I am very, very excited. And uh, once again, thank you so much, Chris, for joining us and giving us uh, your thoughts. It's for giving on... us a bit of hope for next season yeah. about time, oh, yeah. honestly. I know. That's, the uh, Norfolk even... Thank you. I know. The, the, the Norfolk well, Cafu. We've got the Norfolk Cafu. And, and the, the Welsh Cafu. Cafu. Yeah, the Crane and Cafu. Cafu as well in, uh, in Connor uh, Roberts. Uh, Connor Roberts. So we got we got two of them uh, battling it out. You never know. If, if Roberts gets injured, well, he is, isn't he? He's injured. Start. Maybe, maybe Russell yeah. Martin play right Russ, back now. Yeah, just chuck him in, yeah. 
There we are. Okay, yeah. It's you can still do a job. Strength in depth at the moment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you once again, Chris. Uh, just once again, I knew you did it on the preview, but just for anybody watching, do you want to plug your socials? Tell people, tell people where they can find you. Well, I, well, I, well, I would, but I'm actually not going to plug the Talk Norris City socials. I'm going to spend some time plugging the specific Talk Norris City podcast that we did with russell martin that yes. is a really good one to watch and there's not just one there's two one is with wes houlihan a lot of you will know him uh, you know you know uh, just walked walked the championship for the whole of his career we stood there with russ we've interviewed him on stage we've done another podcast with him as well so there's two to watch just search into youtube talk norwich city russell martin and both of those podcasts will come up you will understand from that who he is as a guy, by the way, with his with his guard down, because he was just having a very informal podcast podcast with us. And that was when he was a player. And that was when he just left Norwich City, when he was just getting into the, his player coach role at MK Don. So do go and watch those pods. And uh, I think you boys will be really excited and you'll really buy into who he is as a bloke. 100%. 100%. I'll, uh, give them a listen later. for sure. So will I. Uh, so thank you once again, Chris. Been an absolute pleasure, mate, chatting to you. Really Hope enjoyed to talk it. To you again soon. Uh, you know, if you're up for it. <laughs> well, well, I was going to well, 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 say, boys. You know, you, you might you might not catch me soon because we're going to be in the Premier League for 15. Uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, there we are. There we are. It was there. Uh, it was coming. That's the invite. Well, that's the invite we'll withdrawn. Well, the invite's been withdrawn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Best of luck this season for Norwich, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you guys for watching slash listening wherever you're seeing this. Uh, we'll see you soon. Give us a follow, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Go see out. you later, guys.